So, hi guys. Kamusta na kayo? Kamusta ulit kayo? So, ngayon lang ulit ako makakapag-upload na ng video after matagal din. So, for this video, I'll be teaching you on how to solve problems involving mean and variance of probability distribution. Random probability distribution. So, ayun na nga. Problems involving mean and variance of probability distribution. So, ayun. Ako nga pala. Pagkit ang inyong wapong teacher. I am Heber Samson. So, let's proceed. The mean of a discrete random variable. Diba? Palagi akong nagkakaroon ng typo. O sa mga naging estudyante ko na sa mga PowerPoint ko, alam nyo na yan. So, can yan. Variable can be thought of as anti anticipated value. It is the average that is expected. It is the average that is expected to be the result when a random experiment is continually repeated. It is the sum of the possible outcomes of the experiment multiplied by their corresponding probabilities. So, last time, we have discussed and you have learned how to compute for the mean of a discrete random variable for uh, for the standard deviation and for the variance, diba? So this time, we are going to apply these uh, learnings pagdating sa mga real-life problems. So I'll be giving you examples para mas maintindihan ninyo. Example number one. The officers of LSR Batch 2011 decided to conduct a lottery for the benefit of the less privileged students of their alma mater. 200 tickets will be sold, one ticket will win 5,000 pesos, and the other tickets will win nothing. If you will buy one ticket, what will be your expected gain? So, ang sinasab uh, in solving problems like this one, the first thing we have to do is to analyze the problem. Why? Because if we will not analyze the problem, how will we solve the problem, di ba? Kung hindi natin naiintindihan, paano natin isasolve? Paano natin manalaman kung ano ba yung kailangan sagutin, sagutin dyan? Kung paano ba yung solution na gagawin natin dyan? Of, uh, of course, in life, ganun din. If hindi natin alam kung ano yung problem, how are we going to move on? How are we going to... Uh, how are we going to ano, uh, mat matapos yung obstacle na yun? So, uh, just like in life, we have to understand what the problem is talking about. Or, para saan, or ano ba tong problem na to? Ano ba yung sinasabi dito? So, sabi dito, yung officers daw ng LSR Batch 2011, they have decided to conduct a lottery for the benefit of the less privileged students. Uh, magkakaroon daw sila ng uh, ano ba tawag doon? Raffle draw. And this activity is for uh, the benefit ng mga estudyante. Hindi, na, hindi, hindi naman totally mahirap pero mga less privileged students para ma makapagpatuloy ng pag-aaral nila. And for that, 200 tickets will be sold. From the 200 tickets, merong isang ticket na Pag yun yung nabunot, kung kaninong pangalan yun, mananalo ng 5,000 pesos. And the rest, they will win nothing. Therefore, out of 200, merong isang mananalo lang. And 199, hindi mananalo. Kung bibili, ka, kung bibili ka ng isang ticket, what will be your expected gain? So for this problem, of course, we have to get the, we have to get the probability ng uh, kapag isa yung for the one ticket and for the rest of the tickets. Merong isang ticket na mananalo. So, therefore, that is 1 out of ilan. 200. This is the first probability and this is for the 5,000 pesos. For the 5,000 pesos, the probability is 1 over 200. And what is 1 over 200? This is 0 0.005. So, para sa 5,000, 
merong probability na 1 over 200 or equal to 0.005. And sa hindi mananalo, of course, kung hindi ka mananalo, you have 0 peso. Kasi nga, hindi ka mananalo. That is 199 over 200. Why 199? Kasi ang tickets ay 200, di ba? So, isa lang yung mananalo. Bawasan mo lang isa. Pupunta yun sa 5,000. The rest, yung 199 dun sa hindi mananalo. And 199 over 200 is equal to uh, this is equal to 0 0.995. So, 0 0.995. So, this, uh, ito na yung nasolve nating probabilities. Now, let's construct a table of values. So, we have x. Ano yung ilalagay natin sa x? So, we have 0 peso and we have 5,000 pesos. And then, for the probability, p of x. p of x. Ano ba yan? Ito na yung nasolve natin kanina. Ito yung tinatawag natin na probability. Para sa may 0 peso, we have 0 0.995 almost 100% iba ang laki ng chance para wala akong mapanalunan for the 5,000 pesos naman we have 0 0.005 napakaliit lang ng chance para manalo ka ng 5,000 pesos and when we are asking to solve for the expected gain expected gain pag sinabi natin expected expected gain what do we call or what do we mean by this this is about the this is about the mean very good we are asking you are asked to solve for the mean and solve for that we will multiply the x value and the p of x value we have x multiplied by p of x so 0 multiplied by 0 0.995 this is equal to 0 and 5000 multiplied by 0 0.005 this is equal to 25 and to solve for the mean para ma-solve natin yung mean we are going to by the way for the solution always make sure na ano ha table of values yan and make sure na ano nagandahan nyo naman yung box yung table na gagawin ninyo para naman mas malinis signal at mas professional signal so to solve for the mean we are going to at the products for the xp of x. So the mean is equal to 0 plus 25, which is equal to 25. Therefore, therefore the expected gain is 25 pesos. So, ganyan lang yan. Kadali. O, nasundan ba? So, again, in solving the expected gain, expected value, or for the mean, you just need to, of course, multiply the probability with the x value. After that, you will just get the sum, lahat ng nasa x, p of x ninyo. And then, the sum will be your expected value. So, let's have another example para mas maitilihan. For the second one, Genesis wants to invest his money in a fast food restaurant. There is a 38% chance of losing 400,000 pesos. So, si Genesis daw gusto niyang mag-invest ng pera niya sa fast food restaurant. Pero, give, uh, merong ibinigay na information. The first one is that 38% chance, 38% chance, therefore that is a probability. 38% chance is about losing 400,000 pesos. Yung 38% is to lose 400,000 pesos. Next is a 30% chance of making a profit. 30% chance of making a profit of 550,000 pesos. Making a profit, ito naman yung kikita ka ng kikita si Genesis ng 550,000 pesos and meron ding 32% chance of getting a break even ibig sabihin hindi siya, na, hindi siya na nawalan, hindi siya kumita so sakto lang nabawi niya lang yung puhunan niya, puhunan niya. 
based on this information, should Genesis invest his money in the fast food restaurant? So we are asked to solve and to get the expected gain or expected loss kapag uh, kapag nag-invest siya. So, to solve for this, so, sabi dyan na, 30, uh, the first one is 38%. Meron daw, 38%. So, remember, ang 38% is about uh, is a, a percentage of course, and then para makuha natin yung probability and para mas madali tayo mag-solve, we have to convert this into decimal. And 38% is equal to 0 0.38. Ano yung 0 0.38 na to? This is about losing 400,000 pesos. Pag sinabi natin losing, madadagdagan ba or ma mawawalan? Of course, mawawalan. Kung kapag mawawalan ba, positive ba yun or negative? Of course, negative. Nawalan ka, tapos magiging positive pa yun. So, that is negative 400 thousand and then we also have yung 30 percent natin this is 0 0.30 ano tong 30 percent na to this is yung 550,000 so magiging or kikita yung restaurant ang 550,000 pero 30 percent lang yung probability nun and then we have 32 percent para sa and this, this is 0 0.32 para sa break even pag sinabing break even walang kung hindi siya nalugi hindi siya kumita so zero lang yan so again we are going to construct a table of value x ang x natin i we have negative 400 thousand we have zero and we have 550 thousand again construct a table of values make sure na malinis so don't mind my drawing, haha. <laughs> yan, P of X. We already have solved the, ano, the probability. Kasi given din naman yan eh. So for the negative 400,000, we have... Negative 400,000 is, we have 0 0.38. For 0, we have 0 0.32. And for 550,000, we have 0 0.30. After this, we are going to solve for the expected value. So, xp of x, we will just multiply yung x and then yung probability niya. So, negative 400,000 multiplied by 0 0.38 is equal to negative 152,000. 0 multiplied by 0 0.32 is equal to 0 and... 550,000 multiplied by 0 0.30 is equal to 165,000. To solve for the mean, to solve for the mean, we already know that we have to add yung xp of x natin. And this is negative 152,000 plus 0 plus 165,000. So when we uh, kapag inad natin tong mga values sa to, this is equal to thirteen thousand pesos. Therefore, Genesis will gain kapag sumugal siya sa business na to, and therefore Genesis should invest at this fast food restaurant. Well, ganon din naman talaga, kasi hindi naman talaga ng nagigain. Hindi naman natin sigurado if we will gain in terms of the in terms of business, we have to take risk. Diba? We have, kailangan natin mag-take risk. And syempre, kapag take risk ng business, kailangan porsigido din kayo para mag -success, uh, maging successful talaga yung business. So therefore, since 13,000 pesos is a big money rin naman, and of course, kahit anong mangyayari, mag-gain pa din si Genesis, then pwede siyang mag-invest. Example number 3. A player throws a die. So, yung player daw nag-throw siya ng dice. If a 3 or a 5 is obtained, he wins 100, uh, 100 pesos. By the way, die 
is the singular is a singular form of the word dice so yung dice is a plural form while yung die is a singular is in singular form so if a 3 or a 5 is obtained mananalo daw si yung player ng 100 pesos pero kapag 1 2 4 or 6 yung lalabas then the player will lose 30 pesos. If he continues to play the game, kapag naglaro lang siya ng naglaro, how much does he expect to win or lose in the game? So, kapag naglaro lang daw siya ng naglaro, magkano daw yung uh, may expect na mapapanalunan niya or matatalo niya sa laro? Kasi hindi naman natin sure kung mananalo ba siya or matatalo. So, for this example, same as sa mga una kanina, we have to construct a table of values. We have for the x, we have for the p of x, and then we have x, p of x. And then, anong ilalagay natin sa, t, sa x? So, for the x, ang ilalagay natin ay ang ilalagay natin ay as you, as you can see, he wins 100 pesos and then he loses 30 pesos. So, ilalagay natin dito is uh, negative 30 kasi man, uh, matatalo siya ng 30 pesos and then positive 100. Kasi mananalo siya ng 100 dyan. So, now ano yung ilalagay natin sa probability? What are we going to put in this column? Anong lalagay natin sa probability? Oh, sige. So, iiwan to tong problem na to as your somehow assignment. Of, uh, but then, as you can see, this problem is a problem sa sasagutan ninyo, di ba? So, therefore, kapag sinagutan ko to, alam nyo na yung sagot. Pero, sasagutan natin. So, sa next video na is i-upload ko, ibibigay ko yung solution for this and the answer itself. But, of course, kailangan maka, uh, maka 50 likes yung video. 50. Yun lang. So, yun lang for this video. I hope you learned something today. So again, uh, don't forget yung application natin kung paano natin ginagamit yung mean and the variance of, uh, for the probability distribution. So that's it. Don't forget to like, sub, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That's it for today. Goodbye, guys.